There are moments in our lives that we get a chance to look back on and say, that was an experience that changed my life. And I had one of those experiences. It happened May 6, 2010, and it was at 6.45 in the morning. And I remember it so well because that was the day that I suffered a stroke. And it seemed so ridiculous at the time. You know, I, I don't have any of the characteristics of someone that you would think would suffer a stroke. And I certainly wasn't the age of someone that you would think would suffer a stroke. I was 35 years old at the time. And that event completely changed my life. It changed the way that I think. It changed the, the things that I wanted to do. It almost created a different purpose in my life. And it really was the most terrifying time of my entire life. And it was in that moment of time where I heard my body shutting down. And assuming that this hasn't happened to most people that are watching this, the best way I can describe it is that it really sounds like an engine winding down. And that's exactly what I heard internally. It was an engine winding down. And I thought, oh my God, this is it. Really what I thought was, oh my God, this is it. This can't be happening. No, 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 this, this isn't it. This is how I'm gonna go out. I mean, this is the grand finale. And the worst part about it and what made it so terrifying is that there was nothing I could do to get that engine starting again. So I thought a lot about my family. I thought a lot about things that were important to me. But I also thought about my own life. I thought, was I doing what it is that I wanted to do? You know, what, what impact did I have, really? When, when I was thinking about what impact did I have? Did I do anything that was meaningful? Did I, did I change anyone's life? Did I do anything that was memorable? But I never asked myself whether or not I thought I was successful. Never, never even came into my mind. What I did ask was whether or not I was significant. Success is great, but significance is really what I was after. That's really what has just propelled me into living differently and, and working with people in such a different way because I want them to be able to answer that question in such a concrete way that who they are is significant and what they do is significant. People live their lives thinking that they're in control, right? They, they are controlling all the movable parts and, and really what I realized from that experience is that we're not. What I believe is that we control one thing, just one, and that one thing is the choices that we make. That's all we control. Now we can influence, we have tremendous influence, but when you really think about what we actually control, we only control the choices that we make. And what I realized is that the reason why I wasn't moving forward on some of those things that I wanted to do had nothing to do with anyone else. It had everything to do with me. It had to do with my fears. It had to do with my self-doubts. It had to do with my insecurities. And as I started opening up to people about those things, lo and behold, they started sharing, you know what, I have these fears too. As you approach what it is that you want to do, as you approach a certain activity, as you approach an idea of what it is that you want to do, you're going to ask yourself, why bother or why not? And it's really that decision, will you choose why bother or will you choose why not, that is going to have a significant impact in your life. Where are you making excuses for why you're not doing the things that you want to be doing? Where are you rationalizing that maybe things aren't the way that you want them to, but you'll rationalize as to why they are? Where are you justifying these things? Where are you placing blame elsewhere for why you're not where you want to be? The alternative, of course, is why not? You know, if the only thing that we control are the choices and we can influence outcomes, then why not take the risk? Why not? go for the things that we truly want to go for. You know, forget the scarcity mindset. We, we, there's abundance out there if we, if we just decide, if we just choose to take advantage of it. Let's create a community. Let's create a revolution of people who want to make an impact. And not just a small impact, but I mean a big impact in their life, in the lives of others. Let's get people to uh, feel confident that they can actually be the person that they want to be, that they can do the things that they want to do. So come join the Live Lead Impact call. Be a part of it, participate, be engaged in it, be motivated by it, be inspired by it, but contribute to it as well. Be one of those people that we're gonna tell your story someday. Be that person of significance in the lives of someone else. Be that person who stands up and says, today is the day that I'm going to live abundantly, that I'm going to lead effectively, and I'm going to create a significant impact 
in the life of someone else today.